guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Britton and this is my channel where I like to talk about my three hobbies and passions which is homeschooling, gardening, and sewing <laughs> in no particular order. Today I'm excited to share with you my first curriculum review and I'm going to share my thoughts on the book Preschool Math at Home by Kate Snow. I started Preschool Math at Home when my daughter was only two and a half. The book itself recommends that you wait until a child is four years old or until they're showing interest in math. So I think that I was definitely a little ambitious starting her so young, um, but I do think that she was showing interest in numbers and I felt like since this book is entirely play-based that um, she could handle doing some of these activities and that we could stop at any time if I felt like it was becoming too much for her. So um, these are, as the title says, simple activities to build the best possible foundation for your child. And what I love about this is that, first off, there's an awesome introduction in here that shares just concepts of math and why Kate is introducing these concepts in the order that she is. And then each chapter is short and small, but full of individual activities that you can do to um, kind of reach the goal of the chapter. So chapter one is just counting to five. And this is the first one we started with when my daughter was two and a half. And she was already able to count to five because we would count when we were going downstairs or if we were counting a snack or just using numbers in everyday life like that. So um, getting started on this chapter wasn't really um, like a big deal at that age, I would feel. So the first thing we did was this activity here. It's just counting five toys in a line. Um, so really you're only using everyday items that you have around your home to um, basically present these little games. I call them math games to your child. Um, this one is counting toys in different arrangements. So here it just has some cars and I happen, I happen to have toy cars. So I just set them up in different arrangements and then we would count the cars together. And we would take turns too so that it really felt like a game. Like it would be her turn and then my turn and she could set up the cars in different arrangements as well. Um, that way it was like really more interactive between the two of us. Um, so yeah, I guess I just felt like that made it more of a game scenario for us. Um, I've always taken my time with this book. I never tried to push her beyond her cognitive ability. So I think that was another thing that I kept in mind when I was starting her so young with this is that if there was ever a point where I felt like we just needed to stop and take a break, we just did that. And I will say that there were a few times that we really took solid breaks from this book and then I would just pick it back up again and oftentimes she had had the cognitive development herself in order to just kind of continue and proceed with the book. So it's really nice and flexible that way. Um, now she's almost four and a half and we're just starting to finish it up. So it's definitely lasted us for about two years with a lot of kind of stop and go. It didn't, you know, ever feel like something that I needed to rush through since I wanted to have math and numbers be something that she found to be enjoyable and approachable for her. Another thing I really liked about this book is that it's very cost effective. So all you really need is the book itself. And I want to say, I think that I got it off Amazon for like $13, something really affordable. And then everything that you need for this book, you're going to have lying around your house, whether that's just uh, a piece of paper, some counters, which you could use, like I did cars or game pieces or beans or, you know, anything like that. Um, lots of toys. I think one of our favorite activities was setting up a tea party for her stuffed animals and then giving each animal one of each thing. So each animal had a little teacup and each animal had a cookie and just giving that little tea party also taught her sort of a one-to-one -one ratio and how um, if there's four animals, you're going to need four plates or four dishes, that type of thing. 
Um, so yes, really approachable. You really only need the book and just whatever you can use around your house. Overall, I would say that there is nothing not to like about this book. I would say that it's really thorough. Um, it's very gentle. I love that it's all play-based. There aren't any math fact memorizations or anything like that. I mean, I guess there's the math facts of counting one to ten <laughs> um, but otherwise there's no drilling nothing like that and I think that Kate also does a really good job of supporting the parent in this book so um, at the end of each chapter there's sort of a review like what does your child need to know from this chapter before you move on to the next one and so it's I would say kind of a combination of being really mastery approach but also you definitely still spiral back with the concepts as well so currently as we're wrapping this up, we are, we just finished this chapter, which is chapter five, written numerals from zero to 10, and it gave some really great activities to help my daughter recognize all of her numbers and what order they go in. And we had a lot of fun using index cards um, to play like a matching game. She also lined them up in order from zero to 10. And then I shuffled them and had her do it again. So um, those were some of the activities for that chapter. And now we are in, I think there's seven chapters. We're in the sixth chapter now and it's talking about comparing quantities and numbers. So we actually got to set up a tea party again and I put some little plates in front of her animals and had her compare like you know, your giraffe has four cookies, but your rabbit has seven, who has more cookies, that kind of thing. Um, so that's where we're at right now in this book. I think we'll probably be wrapping it up in the next few months here. Again, I'm not in a rush, but it does set you up really well for when you're ready, her next book, which is Kindergarten Math with Confidence. So I decided that this would be the track that we would do moving forward with my daughter's math. So I'm really excited for her to start in this curriculum when we start her kindergarten year. I do think that she is ready for this now because how well this book set her up for the kindergarten math. Um, but I don't really feel a need to push her any faster than I have. <laughs> so we will start the kindergarten math with confidence probably in August when we are just starting our kindergarten year together. So that's a little sneak peek into my curriculum picks for kindergarten. Um, but I think that if you're looking for just a fun way to do a little extra school at home or to give your child a good math foundation, you should definitely check out Preschool Math at Home. I really recommend it. We've had a lot of fun with it, and I do intend to keep this book so that I can use it with my son when it's his turn in a few years to start his own little math journey. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, I would love for you to post those below. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you would like to subscribe and hear more curriculum reviews or just homeschool thoughts or sewing or gardening or things like that, please subscribe because that is what I talk about here. All right, have a great day.